Today is all about remembering my wife Sita, who died two years ago this January. We just had Mother's Day. The kids and I returned from her gravestone. And though we weren't all present, she knows that we were all together in spirit. In 2012, she planted an apple seed. She fussed over it until I noticed this. it had an incredible root base. No matter how hard I pleaded with her, she refused to let me turn it into a bonsai. She was absolutely determined to get apples from it one day. A short time after her death, I had a sudden impulse to take that apple and turn it into something special in remembrance of her. Although I'll talk more about the subject of her death when I feel ready, I am able to discuss her apple tree. In short, I made a complete mess of it in my haste to do something memorable. The wreck that you will see, perhaps, represents the state I was in during grief. It was truly pitiful, and after an ill-considered and badly executed branch reduction in March 2020, I just gave up. But this year, I'm facing up to the challenge, and now the battle begins, as I try to turn this very sick tree into something very, very special. I pray that with my guardian angels, guiding hand, I shall perhaps be able to perform just a small miracle and turn her apple seed into a memorable bonsai, a memorial to her, to the love that she gave me, the love she gave to her children, to her mother, to her sister, to her brothers, and to the charity and love that she showed everyone she knew. I miss you, darling. Okay, this is the, uh, the common apple that uh, my wife Zeta uh, planted ooh, seven, eight years ago. Um, she refused uh, refused to let me have a bonsai, even though I love the shape of it. Um, really does suffer from uh, the infestations of that woolly mealy stuff, which I hate. But I'm going to have a really good go at it. Um, uh, my wife died a couple of years ago. Um, and since then I find the decision that in her, um, in her memory I'm going to actually try and make a, a decent bonsai of this. It's fairly loose. I've got some uh, old roots. I'll just have a... This is going to come out very easily um, and if I was truth be told I could probably leave it in here another year or two to, to let the roots establish and uh, it may be that when I have a look that's my exactly what I decide to do again but let's have a look. A lot of extra soil there which sometimes is just being wasted, I'll recycle that. It's very friable. Um, I don't normally use the root rake. I'll uh, I'll tend to use the chopstick. Um, but in this one, I'm just going to peel away and see what we've got in here. There's some, uh, definitely some, some dying roots. I, I had a feeling it was rotting in this, so that was the other reason that I decided to, to take it out. Um, it's always something to be wary of, uh, especially on stuff that you've, uh, you know has been grown in the field or isn't particularly healthy. And as I say, it's suffered, suffered from quite a bad infestation, but turning it over, I'm not gonna take too much out on this one. I just want to put it into a smaller pot and just a little bit more friable soil. Okay, I'll take as much soil away as I intend to. So the basic shape there, I've been 
obviously it's very two-dimensional wiring when you see that it's literally in the one line um, and I may bend again but there is a there's certainly a good base of roots there um, underneath I think I think we're looking okay um, I'll do some trimming off crossing roots to shorten it a little bit but uh, I think the one thing I'm really keen of and uh, I don't know if anyone can help with this on the ends of these roots or at different points is like little little balls um, I've got some white tape that will help with this maybe my skin on the ends of the roots you've got like little circle balls and they appear all over um, I'll probably go and have a look but I'm very interested to know exactly what they are and whether or not it's a disease in which case is this something I need to, to think about so if anyone does know what that is drop a drop a note in the comments I'd be much appreciated for that um, quite a rough rough cut there to reduce the size of the tree um, that needs uh, tidying up but as I say right now I just want to see if I can get this into a pot and looking healthy and see where we go from there okay Let's see when we find a, a pot for it okay it's, uh, it's definitely over it's definitely too big um, but I think with the roots I've got there depth that may do for the next few years it's already got a couple of drainage holes and to be fair it's pretty solid so I'm just going to put the mat back in just clean that up again um, and we'll uh, we'll see how we get on with that yeah that fits in perfectly so we'll get some soil Okay, um, I've just used some uh, some silver fencing wire. Um, it was a recommendation from uh, Ryan O'Neill of Bonsai Marai. Um, I've got a great big reel of it, and uh, does perfectly. So uh, just measure. You've seen this before, I'm sure. We're just measuring between the holes to get a nice snug fit. that the wire is too long and not long enough. And that will fit in the nicely. I'm just going to try and just try and tickle the roots around so we've got a little bit of spreading but sure that I'm not destroying too many roots with this tie down. expert in, uh, in properly putting this soil in. Oh, wind. All I'm trying to do is to, to get soil into the uh, into the air cavities that have uh, formed at the bottom. Um, again if you look at some bonsai marae clips or many others 
they'll devote an entire half hour, three quarters of an hour to properly uh, properly potting to ensure you get soil in all those gaps. Because what you want to get is um, good root contact, um, avoiding pockets of air or, or space. Okay, and it's just working it through. So, looking at this, um, whether we have it leaning forward, there's the front. See the example I'm talking about? If we can zoom in on this. Is these, these uh, lumps or growths, they occur all over the, um, all over the root system. That's looking dead actually. I'm surprised if anything comes from that. But apples always surprise me. Who knows, this could be uh, a great potting failure, I'll let you know. Um, but yeah, if anyone knows that this can be, I don't know what it is, but uh, yeah, let me know. And continue to rotate. You can see there, very two dimensional, I'll probably just put some more bends in it. Probably not the best time to be doing it. So we'll get giving it some three-dimensional movement. Well, that's what we're looking at. Um, I've got a funny feeling this is looking pretty dead down here. So we'll wait and see whether or not that's, uh, that's living. But even if not, we've got a good branch here, here, and it looks like here. So worst case, if this dies off, I'll uh, pull that back. Um, I may even just do something with that, with the, the Dremel. But that's years away from now. First of all, I just want to hope that this thing actually uh, throws out some good roots. So I'm going to give it a treatment with uh, uh, basically just a soap and water um, fungicide type thing. Um, so if there is anything just under the bark, we'll uh, hopefully catch it. If it's in the roots, I'll find out. But yeah, I need to do some more research on what these apples struggle with. I've just got to do a little bit of clipping. The old tools, I find them sharp and they do the job. So I'll just neaten up. This will get a really good water. No. Hopefully, hopefully it uh, it lives. Because truthfully, it would be really nice to have have a, a bonsai that uh, can help me remember my wife. Um, she was very supportive. She was the one who insisted that I, uh, I start a nursery, mainly because she, uh, she wanted all the nursery beds that I was using so she can do vegetables and go self-sufficient. But, um, you know, bless her, uh, she's now most definitely in a better place. Um, yeah, there's some odd, yeah, it's like it. It's almost like a root system going, probably is a root system. But, uh, yeah, when you take them off, they're just like little bits of green in there. They don't look like they're, um, they're eggs or anything. That's what I originally thought. Anyway, that's about as much as I'm gonna do for this. I'll give it a treatment and the spray I'll use will literally be a soap and water solution um, with a little bit of uh, oil in it. So, that's all for now. Um, Hopefully, uh, 
Hopefully this tree is going to be something worth looking at in the future and that wind, oh my goodness me. So this is the uh, the tree a few weeks later after you've seen that uh, video. I probably did that, may have been three weeks ago, may even be four actually looking at it. And as you can see, you've got lots of green growth from here, but clearly this branch is, uh, is no more, it ceases to be. Uh, it's fallen off the perch. Um, but one of the problems I talk about with apple that just seems to go on and it's one of the things that puts me off apple so much is is the, the white, I don't know whether they're white mealy bugs uh, but they form this really thick white sort of cottony sort of sticky sort of covering um, and then they just literally infest the entire tree and they do it with all my apples um, and it is such a pain to deal with sound the noise in the background is my son just finishing off the fence so please excuse that. Um, so I'm just going to show you my way of dealing with it. Toothbrush, uh, nothing, uh, not rocket science. Uh, I'm trying something different at the moment. It's called Implant Invigorator, uh, bug killer. Uh, it's supposed to be pretty good. I saw a recommendation on it online. So if that's something you want to look up, by all means, I just mix up five or 10 mil in a capful and then uh, put it in my spray. Now I think you have to be a little bit careful about getting it on greenery, but I, to be honest, I'm, I'm so tired of this, this bug problem. Uh, I'm just going to give it a good spray. It's normally the roots where the real problem is. And just really get it right in there. As I say, they infest in all the little nooks and crannies. So, this is the first year I've tried this approach of really trying to scrub it down. Um, I'm going to try and avoid the leaves this year and just scrub the actual underside. It's, oh, it's all everywhere. And this could be overkill, but uh, I don't know. This is definitely one of those kings. If other people have a solution to this problem, by all means tell me. Because it's doing my head in. And then you'll get it up and underneath the branches in different places and I'll just use the toothbrush with that um, and I won't spray direct I'll just spray a bit onto the toothbrush and just I don't know if it makes a difference doing it this way or not to be honest I'm so desperate to get this to grow and to get strong to so say this is really the the tree that's uh, in memory of, of my wife's eater. It was one of two trees that she particularly was responsible for. She um, planted uh, an apple seed, I don't know, in 2015, 2014 maybe actually. And uh, this is the result of it. Well, it was three and a half, four foot. Um, that is an example, by the way. If I'd um, watched some uh, it's been instructional stuff earlier. I would never have done that cut so close to the branch. Um, I basically gave it no way to heal. I should have actually cut higher, let the dieback occur, wait for a collar to form, and then slowly cut down. Instead, what I did is I cut it right flush. There was nowhere for a collar to form, so it's actually taken it below the line of this branch, and that's ended up killing the branch. Hard way of learning, but in the end, that's how we learn. And truthfully, I sort of knew it, but I was impatient and just cut without thinking, which I know we've all done at different times. So, we'll see how that works out. I'm going to have to go around all my other apples and do the same thing. So, from, uh, from expressions, this will probably be the end of the, uh, the apple repot video, and hopefully this is going to be something that's going to uh, feature year on year if I, if I manage to, to make it that long. So, see you to Apple.